Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special report with uh, really a, a word to help and uh, hopefully give you hope and put your feet on solid foundation, so to speak, as you walk uh, today in the journey of life. You know the Lord directs our steps. He really does. And it's, it's, there's sure footing. There's, there's a sure way to go. There, 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 there's a proper way. I mean, there's all kinds of meandering that people can choose to do. But I think it's important that we understand that the scripture many times talks about there's better things. There's a better way. And the book of Proverbs highlights so many things that are better. You know, things like your integrity, things like honor, things like honesty, so, so, so many things in the book of Proverbs. But there's a verse I've been thinking a lot about. It's in Proverbs 21 and uh, verse 9. It says, it's better. OK, now this is this is advice now. Wisdom, it is better to dwell in the corner of a rooftop than to live in an environment with a contentious person. Now, in the, the, the scripture, it talks about a contentious woman. It uses that phrase. But a contentious man, a contentious kid, a contentious anybody. It's better for you. It's better for me to, to separate yourself, to isolate yourself so you can insulate your soul. It's better for you to dwell in the corner of a rooftop than in a household with a contentious person. You know, our world is so contentious today. Our families are so contentious today. The church is so contentious today. I see things, you know, people parse every little syllable, every little nuance. I'll tell you what, precious friend, if you choose to live according to the flesh, you'll have nothing but contention and you'll have nothing but judgment. But if you choose to live in Christ where you belong, you're accepted in the beloved. Remember the good news. If you choose to live according to the revelation of Jesus, then you can, uh, you can make choices that uh, don't always eliminate contention. Sometimes it may stir up more contention, but you can, you can know how to navigate sometimes the situations and circumstances of your life. Again, it's better to be in the corner of a rooftop to be, than to be in the household of, of, of a contentious person. And uh, you have to decide how much you want to sign up for. You have to decide when you need the last word. You have to decide when you need to be right. You need to decide what, what battle you're going to fight. And I tell you what, in our world today, everybody wants to just get involved in contention, to get involved in strife. And the Bible says where strife is, there's evil of every sort, and we're seeing it bubble up in the lives of families and loved ones and relationships in our world. And I want to encourage you today to put yourself in a place where you make the promises of God your priority and know what is be better for you so you can live the best life God has for you. It's better for you to separate yourself from a contentious person, from a contentious friend, from a contentious environment, people that just have nothing to do but to tear you down, to tear down your faith, to tear down your, your, your trust in the Lamb of God. It's better just to isolate yourself for a season, for a moment, until you figure out the plan of God of how to connect with a person, how to connect with a loved one, how to connect with your spouse, how to connect with your kids, how to connect your, with your world. But it's better that you find a safe space, contention free, where there's not strife and where you can pray for those who are bugging you. You can pray for those who are disturbing your spirit. You can pray and speak God's promises over the lives. And this is what we need to do one for another, precious. And we need to pray one for another that each and every one of us will fulfill God's will in our generation. Don't forget, God loves you completely. And we do too.